1999 7.3 Power Stroke F250. We'll be replacing the thermostat housing because as you can see, mine leaks. It leaks around. I've, uh, I've seen online, they say don't use aftermarket thermostats because they don't have the, gas, the right gasket. And uh, this is actually a new housing. I put it on and I use an aftermarket thermostat. I can't remember if I had the wrong gasket or not. We'll take this off of here. Um, of course, collect the coolant and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Most people will probably recommend to drain your radiator before you disconnect the hose and that way it's easier to control your mess. But what I like to do is just take the hose off and let it drain no more than it has to. I'll probably take that hose off if it would focus. I'll probably take that hose off and I'll lift it up here. I might get a zip tie. I think I'll get a zip tie to be ready to lift that up so that it quits draining. And Because uh, I don't want to waste any coolant. Shit's getting expensive. No, I like a pair of pliers. You can push the button on. Like this to cinch them up as tight as you can on that clamp because you need every bit of that travel to get these damn things off. The pliers are opened up too much. She won't do it. Alright. Alright, you can see it already starting to leak out. What I'm gonna do is pull this off of here as quick as I can. Oh yeah, okay. Need your long extension. I think this one's about a foot high enough to for your socket to clear that belt there. Detent on the old ratchet's a little sloppy. What's that all about? Uh-oh. Okay, there's little washers on these. Don't drop them on the ground into the abyss. Or into your collection pan. Cause then you gotta go digging through the coolant for it. That sucks. I've got more washers. They don't look like anything special. They are pretty thin. Thermostat housing I bought comes with new bolts though, so I do think the stock housing is fine. It's steel though, so it is prone to corrosion, but if you're changing and flushing your coolant like you're supposed to, you probably won't have that problem. But like I said, I have replaced, this is actually a replacement steel housing and thermostat, but it's still, it didn't leak and start leaking again. This time I'm going with a nice aluminum unit. It's really nice. I'll show it to you here in a bit. Now I did, when this was leaking before, I think I've actually done this twice. The last time I went on, I put some RTV on this fucker. And that's why it's stuck. I might have screwed up. I was hoping, oh, this will be the last time I... Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. She's coming. A little sticky there. Oh, oh shit. I'm losing some coolant there. Oh, hell. Oh. So much for not uh, wasting coolant. Wow, amazing. Maybe I just let it just accept that I'm wasting a shit ton of coolant. That really sucks. That's why I hate working on cooling systems. I should have caught it the old fashioned way, then I could have kept it clean, maybe. Alright, now that I got this all gummed up with RTV, I gotta clean it. You can see here's the housing with the thermostat still stuck to it. Yeah, you can see, see these aftermarket housing? That's RTV. They don't come with rubber that goes on both sides of the, both on the back side and the front side of the thermostat. This is what a motocraft one looks like. See how this one, that's RTV. See how this one doesn't have, that's why they don't freaking seal. Can't believe they would sell that. All right, got a regular scraper. 
and a screwdriver. You shouldn't need this unless you have some jackass like me that thought RTV would be a good idea. Good news is this is not a ceiling surface with the new thermostat. I just got to worry about down in the screw. All right, got a good old piece of scotch bright pad. Works as good as anything, just takes a bit of elbow grease. I really need to get it down in that groove that is important to be clean because I do not want to do this for a third time. I knew when I put it in, I was like, how in the fuck is this supposed to seal with rubber only on one side? So that's why I put RTV on it. I thought this. I thought Ford, this is freaking stupid. What are you thinking? Then I later find out that I'm the one that's a freaking idiot. I never like using RTV unless you have to, because of this. Splash all that debris out of there. I got this mostly cleaned off. Take a clean rag and just make sure get any debris out of there. All right, that looks pretty good. New thermostat seal. It's actually a wrap. It's not two different seals. It's one seal that wraps around the edge all the way. Oh yeah, that feels a lot better. Piece de la resistance. Like I said, I think the steel housing, I don't have it up here anymore. I think the steel housing, the OEM style, is fine. But this is a nice piece. I just got tired of screwing with this. I think just the thermostat itself would have fixed it fine. But that's pretty mad. And it comes with new bolts. These are flange head bolts. I'm wondering if I should use a washer just so I don't so I don't gall the aluminum. So I think I'm gonna go grab a couple. So I got a washer. I even lubed them up with a little bit of uh, it's PTFE. Call it Teflon lubricant, though. The only reason I did that is because allow that metal to slip on the washer, keep it from digging in and dragging on this pretty aluminum piece. I wonder if I should put a little blue RTV on these nuts. It seems like they kind of got loose on me. Get them all finger tight first. Torque them to spec. I think it's something. I'll go look it up really quick. All right, I went and looked at the torque spec for the OEM housing. I couldn't find one that Sinister or the maker that housing recommended that was different. That's 110 inch pounds, inch pounds, not foot pounds. In foot pounds, that'd be like 9.2 about, but that's so low that the correct torque pinch is gonna be labeled in inch pounds, 110. It said 100 to 110. Wow, that's not very much. I'm there already and I just basically got her. All right, I guess, I guess that's it. Jam the hose back on. There we go. Shit, how the f that's a fluster puck. All right, now the clamps actually was fine where it's at, but I wanna clock it around front here. There we go. Mint. That's pretty much it. Top her off. This uh, gets an air bubble in it that's hard to get out. I started looking at the aftermarket thermostat that I used before. Not only does it have a single one side seal, it doesn't have uh, an air bleeder ball anywhere. So that's probably why it's having so much damn trouble. So it not only doesn't seal right, it also doesn't let the air out. So I'm sure there are aftermarket thermostats that are just fine, but 
Single side steel, no bleeder ball. Junk. I think we're there.